Hello, my name is uh, Pete Garcia. I am a partner in Idea Partners. Uh, I'm the co-founder of the Idea District and co-developer of Idea One. The Idea District uh, was a very progressive vision to bring an innovation district to downtown San Diego. Uh, Idea stands for innovation, design, education, and arts. And uh, the premise was that by creating a place that would attract uh, creator, creatives and, and makers, we could really uh, catalyze uh, a whole area of downtown and create a lot of uh, clean, high paying jobs in the uh, intersection of design and technology. And of course, uh, art and uh, architecture is an integral part of that. So when we visualized that, uh, the first project that we did that uh, actually launched the whole thing was Idea One. Idea One is a full city block, um, 300 uh, residential um, rental units with uh, about 10,000 square feet of office and about 6,000 square feet of restaurants. So the whole idea was for Idea One to uh, encapsulate all of the concepts that we had. So we brought in art as a major component of the project in order to create an attractiveness for creatives. And uh, as part of that um, concept, we created 13 major art pieces. Uh, some are murals, some are sculptures. And my favorite is the one that Rocio uh, created. Uh, we call it the green ceiling. And the green ceiling is uh, really an art installation using landscaping as a medium. So as the term describes it, the green ceiling is not a green wall because the green wall is vertical. A green ceiling is horizontal. And what that allowed us to do is not have to encumber the hub, we call it, which is a large courtyard. It's actually set to be like a uh, theater stage where many performances are created there. Uh, dance, uh, music, uh, all kinds of uh, events we have there. The city wanted us to have, um, I don't know, 3,000 square feet of landscaping in this area, which would have been, it would actually obstruct it, the ability to have a very flexible space to act like, a, like an urban theater stage. So we basically told the city that we really didn't want to do that. They said, well, if you don't do that, you don't get a building permit. So we said, well, how about if we do a green wall? They said, no, 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 no. Code calls for, for, for something horizontal. We said, well, let's do a green ceiling. And they said, is that horizontal? I said, yeah, of course it's horizontal. So I said, okay, fine. And they gave us a building permit. So I went to Rocio, who was our incredible landscape architect. She did a fabulous job on the entire project. Uh, and I said, Rocio, are we going to do a green ceiling? And she said, what? So I thought, uh-oh, we're in trouble. So anyway, uh, fortunate because Rocio is very creative and adventurous, we decided to invent a green ceiling. And uh, it, it turned out so terrific and it was so well received. So we said, well, this is not just landscaping. This is actually an art installation. And we treat it within our whole art portfolio in the project as such. Now, as I said, the project has 13 art pieces. Uh, we have uh, one international artist. We have three national artists and then local artists. And I consider to be Rocio to be all of the above. She's local, she's national, and I think also international because of her creativity. So the, the landscaping and the art has really created from a placemaking standpoint, a place that uh, is meant to enhance people's lives uh, and actually enhance their ability to be creative. It's transformational 
catalytic effect on the whole area. We decided to create this um, innovation district downtown. People thought we were crazy because it was an area that had been really, really almost abandoned. It edge, if you up down. Uh, the area now, after a few years, is, is just new, uh, and it has some of the best architecture and some of the best creative people living in that area. We really created not only an innovation district, but we created a community, a community that uh, uh, has really advanced uh, all of downtown San Diego. So with that, I just wanted to say that uh, I really appreciate uh, everything that Rocio did for us. I appreciate her sense of adventure and uh, inventing uh, with us the uh, green ceiling. Uh, it is a very Instagrammable place. Uh, we have a great restaurant called Lola 55 uh, right next to it. And uh, constantly there are people just uh, taking selfies uh, under the green ceiling and enjoying uh, something that it's uh, again, an, an art installation using landscaping as a medium. By the way, the plants are air plants, which uh, don't require any soil, only required uh, water and some grow lights. Uh, it's really fantastic. So, you know, with that, I hope that I've um, been able to describe to you the great experience that we had uh, with Rocio as our landscape architect. Thank you very much.